What we have here is the Barracks IP Former. And see, it's a PoE box that has an 8 ohm output. And you can connect it here right to any uh, 2 to 8 ohm speaker. Uh, you get about 8 watts of output out of the PoE box. And again, you can connect horn speakers to it. You can connect a regular speaker. And then, of course, you can have them built in to pretty much any speaker you want. Uh, here's an example of see the IP former built into this speaker right here. Um, I'm going to turn up the volume right now. And see here I'm making, here I'm a, making page a page from the phone, from the phone to the speaker. To the speaker. And, and you can hear the volume really, really good on this thing, thing and it can be jacked, jacked up, even, up even, louder. even louder. I just turned on the volume there so I can talk without shouting over it. Um, here's the master volume control in the firmware. Um, you see you could have multiple sources. Right now you see I've got the, it figured as a SIP extension to a PBX. I've got Barracks Radio as the background music. And you can put in more uh, priorities that you want here. Uh, you see we have Informacast if it's licensed or any HTTP stream, which is what Barracks Radio is. Uh, you can play from a local file so it has a memory on it you can store. It can be just a straight up RTP stream. Or we also have the Synapse uh, license. That comes available for free on the products, though Informacast does require an extra licensing fee to have on. Uh, or, of course, a SIP extension. So you can have all these different uh, types of audio streams in priority levels on the speaker. Um, and see, if I just go across the front, here's some audio files I have on there to play from. You can store audio files on and then play those with a command, an IP command from another, another Barracks product or a panel like Crestron or AMX can send commands to uh, play files as well too. Uh, here's my speaker status. It tells me whether I'm on SIP or whether I'm on Barracks Radio. Um, so the firmware has a lot of features and options in it as well too. And I'll be showing you more videos of that later. Again, the IP former from Barracks, you can make any speaker an IP speaker.